In previous class of Microsoft 365 Advanced course, we discussed about licenses, means how many types of licenses are available. And we have already discussed about how to sign up ourselves over a 365 portal. Now, this is another class of Advanced Microsoft 365. And in this class, I'm going to help you to manage uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. As we discussed before, in the day of day one, we discussed about the different types of dashboard that we have. If you really want to be expert in Microsoft 365 services, you should know about the options are uh, the services which are available in different different admin center. So in this class, I'm going to give you the complete information about the users management using Microsoft 365 admin center. I have already logged in myself over a Office 365 portal. Currently, I'm using my free trial account, which is a E5 license. So in case of free trial, I have up to 25 different licenses, means we are able to assign the licenses to 25 different users. So this is our uh, Office 365 page. So I'm going to click on the admin. It will redirect you on the page of admin center, Microsoft 365 admin center. We'll start from the very basic, like as to understand about the resources or services which are available in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Once we complete this particular part, we will proceed for the another dashboard like Active Directory and Exchange Online Admin Center. Right, so now we are able to find n number of options are available. If we talk about the left panel, so n number of options are available like as a home, users, teams and group, roles, resources, billing, support, settings, setup and reports help multiple options are available right so as a 365 engineer it's our responsibility we should know about the usage of these options i'm going to start from the users whenever we click on the user icon it will provide us a multiple another our co options are also available in the in the users panel like active active user contact guest user accounts and deleted user our responsibility, we should know about the difference between these uh, points. So I'm going to click on the active users. It will redirect you on another page that help us to understand about the number of users that you have already created. In our case, I have already created AWS, GCP, support, Tata and Telnet. Six different users, five to six different users already available. I'm going to create new user. Just need to click on add, add uh, uh, user. It will redirect you on another page. I'm going to create new user with name of Tata. Display name is also Tata. And this is the icon where we can generate password automatic. So I don't want to create pass. I don't want to proceed with automatic password because I'm planning to create my own password. Sorry, Tata user is already available. So let me proceed with another name. The another user that I'm going to proceed with name of Raj, right? So automatically create a password. No, I don't want. I want to set up my own password. Right. And the two more options are available, like it required this user to change their password when they first sign in. So definitely in case of production environment, you always click on this particular icon because the user whenever we client want to lock in your user, so he need to change their first password. He need to change on first login. To save some time, I'm not going to check here. And this is another option, send password in email upon the completion. So if you have already set up a one email ID to collect the user ID and password, the first user ID and password, you just need to check mark it. I'm not going to proceed with that. Next, another option, the number of uh, licenses that we have in our case we have two different types of license one is enterprise mobility plus security e5 and another is office 365 e5 license enterprise mobility plus security e5 is a type of uh, intune that is responsible to contain the feature of intune but our responsibility to assign the licenses for the cloud application 21 licenses are available total number of license 25 licenses are 25 and <clears throat> we have already utilized four different licenses so now 21 licenses are still available i'm going to assign the licenses right now number of applications so up to 59 different applications you you will find in the single license 
So if you want to customize your application for uh, any specific user, you just need to uncheck. I'm not going to do that. Just need to click next. This is the panel, which is optional settings. The meaning of optional setting is correlated to the roles and profile information. The meaning of roles, as per the name suggests, if you want to assign the role, like role in the sense it's a type of delegation service. Delegation service, the meaning of delegation is correlated to, uh, you can say that uh, if you want to delegate any user, if you want to enhance the user's properties, then you can proceed with delegation. <coughs> Exchange admin, global administrator, right? Help desk administrator, teams administrator, users administrator, if you want to make, if you want to enhance the rights of your user account, then definitely you can proceed with choose according to the requirement. These roles option can also help you in case of uh, dividing the workload of our client, right? You are working as a admin, you are working as a owner um, um, <coughs> of your uh, portal and now you are getting lots of ticket. You don't have a time to resolve entire ticket. So that time what, what you need to do you need to hire few more engineers who already know about the Office 365 services. And according to the experience of your engineer, you need to divide the task, create user, assign uh, uh, roles, or uh, delegate the user, and hand over, send the user ID and password to your new joiners. I'm not going to make it because I'm just going to proceed with the normal user account. Next and finish. Our user is ready to use Raj at teachmecloud.net. Teachmecloud.net is our own domain name. So I'm going to check it, right? I'm just going to check, open another incognito wizard, Outlook, or, 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 or office.com, it's up to you. And try to log in with the help of your own user that you just created, Raj at teachmecloud.net. Okay, no problem. Let me try to open with another wizard, another browser basically, outlook.com or office.com. The user that we are trying to log in, Raj at teachmecloud.net. Provide the password. We have already assigned the license to this particular user, right? So definitely we are able to access the applications of our appli uh, applications that provided by the root account. The number of licenses, the number of applications which are available in E5 license, you can get in your uh, uh, Raj user. So now we log in directly to the outlook.com. So it's a type of mailbox and you can send the email and receive the email from any uh, internal email ID or external email ID both. So this is the basic part of a user's management. We created a user and under the users, we assign the license. We discuss about the uh, roles that we have. The roles is a type of delegation service. If you want to delegate your user, definitely the roles can help us. Okay. Meanwhile, it's our responsibility. We should know about the another options which are available in the user's properties. So let me help you to understand. This is the first panel or this is the dashboard of our uh, uh, user's properties and under the user's properties, we are able to find account, device, license and application, mail and OneDrive. So we just need to select the account and in the account, we have a number of options are available. This is primary mail ID and this is alias. So you can put your own alias name as per your requirement. The meaning of alias is a type of duplicate name. If you don't want to 
distribute the information about your user account so that time you can proceed with the alias name as it is last sign in failure so it give you the information about the last sign in failure at 2:33 pm we try to log in our user but unfortunately you are unable to log in it so that's why it give you the uh, um, the information about the login process sign in uh, sign out the device sign out the user from entire devices think about it is help us to uh, it will help you in case of if you forget to sign out your account from any uh, you can say that uh, any strangers systems or laptop so you can just need to click here from the portal and within single click it will sign out the account from entire devices that you use to log in alternate email address basically is applicable for the root accounts and uh, another uh, delegated account so the alternate email address can help you in case of if you forget the password of your root account or delegated user account so that time you can proceed with the alternate email id and this email address can help you to manage our or reset the password of our root account clear so as it is this is the basic information attributes of our user account so as per requirement you can fill uh, you you can use the options which are available in the contact information devices so unfortunately we haven't used the, the raj user to enroll any kind of on premises device so that's why we are unable to find the information about the device it is applicable when we connect our system with the help of azure ad connect or when we enroll any device with the help of raj user licenses and applications so number of licenses that we have number of applications that you wanted to assign like we assign the one uh, license that contain up to 25 59 different applications enterprise mobility plus security e5 if you want to use this same user to enroll uh, uh, any device over a microsoft intune portal then enterprise mobility plus security e5 license can help you mail yes this is the one of important option that help you to understand about the size of your mailbox so as per the e5 license we are able to store up to 100 gig of data in inbox not only inbox in mailbox because the mailbox responsible to contain storage of uh, inbox sent item draft or any other folder that you have already created so entire 1 2 3 right deleted item is also archive is also yes conversation the entire folders that you are able to find in the properties of mailbox the capacity consumed by this particular 100 gig of space right so this is all information we are able to find the applications email forwarding if you want to transfer the email if you want to forward the same email to another account so you can proceed with the email forwarding automatic reply you know very well about we can set up the uh, things if you are on leave and uh, you don't have access of email id so you can set up a automatic reply uh, you can type the template or message for the automatic reply this is one drive and one drive you know that each and every license can give us option of one drive and uh, the capacity of one drive may be started from 2 tb to up to unlimited space depend upon the types of licenses that you are using and as per the license you will get a storage space in one drive So guys this is all about the users management and I hope uh, you guys are able to understand about the concept of uh, uh, users management you are in the series of Microsoft 365 advanced course so definitely we'll try to give you the complete information about the practical of 365 services do subscribe and share with your office colleagues and friend so take care guys bye bye we'll connect soon in another session bye bye